Where have you been? The bandwidth was pretty shitty, man. It's like the whole campus is cramming. Yeah, where is it? Here. Jesus Christ, you didn't want to get a, a bag or a, a case or something? You know, what if it starts raining? Don't worry, dude, it's not gonna rain. It's not gonna rain, no, in London. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm international. Well, let's get going, nothing he's finishing up. in the middle of the city. Now, I was in this location last week and I took this picture. If you get the camera low enough and angle it in the right way, then this house blocks out the entire street behind it. And this will create the perfect desolate setting for our hero's call to action in the middle of the first act. Now, let's talk about our hero. He has this habit, this need to, to constantly fill the silence. And he does this by whistling, all right? No matter where he is, whether he's at work or just on the street or even just by himself taking a piss, he's always whistling. And he is completely unaware of the frustration this causes to the people around him. And this creates isolation. And this isolation will be our character's main driving force throughout the entire film. Ladies and gentlemen, what I am saying is I am so confident in this project, I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, hello, Mr. Schaefer. Oh, Hassan. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, your pimp just recruited me to do your bitch work. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to start tipping it down out there. Well, then there will be God's tears for all the truisms that will surface at tonight's event. Jesus, he's a poet too. <laughs> Look, Tom, I got a lot of love for you for booking these tickets for me, but for the last time, do I have to go? Yes, half the town will be there, and it's about time you watch one of Alderic's films. Well, why can't I stream it like a normal person? Because you can't find them online. In fact, they only exist with his estate. Right. Right. All right, it'll start copying soon. Uh, what's this Alderic event y'all are talking about? Ah, my pimp over here is trying to get me into bed with some fat Kensingtonians in the hopes that they'll give us some of their pocket change for our senior thesis. What are they showing? Le Pendule Brisé, the new digitally remastered version. Man, why does everything gotta have a digitally remastered version these days? <laughs> more glow, more dough, I guess. You guess. All right, the videos are still copying over, but here's the list. It not only has the time signatures for the pastiches, but it also has them for the originals. This is what you're looking for, right? Yeah, yeah, this is incredible. I was tempted to put in references from just 70 millimeter, given how young Briggs here loves it, but between that and the screening next month, I thought his heart would just explode, so. Screening? What's screening? You didn't hear? Hear what? What's going on? They're having a digitally remastered showing of 70 millimeter at Piccadilly next month. And right after that, they're doing a Q&A with Ticino. No fucking way. Yeah, I'm surprised you're not already all over. Are there any tickets left? Can you get me a ticket? I wish. Oh, come on, what about you, Big Daddy? Please, please, I will let you sell me to anyone if you can just get me a ticket. I'm not selling you to anyone. Jesus Christ. What night is it showing? Uh, January 17th. That's why I didn't get you the ticket. Why? What's going on on the 17th? Uh, um... Uh, we're uh, presenting the first cut of our thesis that evening. Yikes. Seems like you'll have to wait till Hollywood to meet Ticino. All right, it's done copying. Uh, do yourself a favor and get a case, yeah? All right, protection is everything. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know how it goes. And don't forget a big, fat associate producer credit at the end. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Why didn't you tell me about the screening? Because you weren't attending. That's beside the point. And why exactly is that? Whether or not I can go, it's my favorite director. I'd have liked to have known. I didn't compute all of that in my head. I looked at the event, I glossed over it. I didn't make much of it. You didn't make much of it. You know that's not what I meant. Jesus Christ, we don't even know what's gonna happen after the 17th and already I'm a fucking circus freak. Oh. Goodness sake, Briggs, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the screening. Give me a break. But no one is calling you a freak. And why are you making me go to these pretentious events, watch a thousand films and do these mindless fucking tasks? So that you could be ready. I don't want to be ready! I want to see my mates, not watch fucking Citizen Kane for the fucking thousandth time! I want to... I want to learn the guitar, not, not perform blindfolded to an empty room, Tom. I'd rather be me for the next three weeks. 
And if that means occasionally crying in my misfortune, then so be it. You want to be wrapped up in self-pity? Then go ahead, be my guest, but do not take it out on me when I try to help you! What do you want? A fucking medal? You're an asshole. Try swapping places, Tom.
Dr. Ellis, and members of the advisory board and my fellow students, thank you for meeting with me on such short notice. I'm here today to share with you some unfortunate news. There's no easy way for me to say this, so I'll just get right to it. My classmate, directing partner and friend, Brixon Newton, is going blind. He has retinitis pigmentosa, a rare disease that slowly destroys the retina, but there is a small chance that surgery can help, and he is taking that help. He's due to have his operation on the 17th of January. Briggs didn't want to tell you this until after the operation, but due to the worse than predicted decline in his eyesight, we've made virtually no progress in the last month. Needless to say, we need an extension. But more importantly, I'm here to ask for all of your support. A few of our friends have been kind enough to help us catch up. Briggs would be here to tell you this all in person, but we all know how much he loves the advisory board. In the remaining time, I'd like to go over a few adjustments we've had to make to our initial proposal. I I hope you find this acceptable. This is going to sound a bit weird, but I wouldn't mind going blind. The last thing I saw was your face. Oh really? Is that so? That is one hell of a pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> 